Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Stuttlars 3.0 and the Nemesis DLC. Let's play. So, picking up-ish where we left off at the end of the last episode. Um, I did start to grab some screenshots for a thumbnail, and I'd forgotten to save. So, we're slightly ahead. Fleet might be in a different position than what you eagle-eyed viewers um, would have remembered, but nothing major has occurred since the end of the last episode episode wanted to start off a couple things today um in the last episode i asked you hey what what robo modding do we want to do what um what what do we want to do just <laughs> generally speaking and the suggestions that i got from you guys was to go with streamlined protocols uh to reduce empire sprawl from the pops and mass produce now unfortunately we've only got two points left so we're gonna take mass produce to get them rolling out the door quicker and unless we take a negative trait, we cannot run streamlined protocols. So, and I guess we could do robo upkeep. Yeah, let's do robo upkeep. Let's do that. Let's do two positive traits. Uh, we'll go with durable and we'll go with mass produced. We're going to create that template. Uh, now I want to apply this template to everybody. How long is that going to take? Finishes in 21 months using engineering research. Okay. Let's do it. We're in a war right now. We're not going to need the cruisers for this particular war. Uh, and then we really need to figure out what we want to do next. So let's get that rolling. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, um, yeah, I can't believe I forgot this. Somebody pointed out in the comments that, hey, by the way, yeah, you know the, the problems you're having um, on, on those worlds you captured? Well, number one, it's mostly because of amenities. And thank you for pointing that out. I had actually noticed it, but missed it and not applied it in my mind to the fact that these guys were pissed. Also, we can declare martial law. Could have done that a long time ago, and that would have really got the stability back up. So, we're going to declare martial law here. Declare martial law here. I don't think we're going to do it here quite yet, because stability is starting to climb a little bit, uh, and we are in the positive. So, we'll hold off uh, on Lurpan so and see how things go but without further ado let's get things unpaused get the game rolling and get back into winning this war oh hey they surrendered nice 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 okay so not as bad on the empire sprawl as i thought uh let's check out this planet poor quality minerals yeah that's fine it was literally just colonized that's good um, and let's see. Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy at all. Well, let's get them some more amenities with a city district. Uh, let's also... I kind of want to put this in its own... Own district. Yeah, or I'm sorry, own sector. Yeah, let's, let's make a sector out of you. Uh, and let's just get somebody assigned. Let's recruit you. See if there's anything better. Eh which we already recruited somebody with that trait. Uh, so let's go ahead and assign to that far, far flung reach of the galaxy. Hopefully that provides a little bit of stability. And we are getting very large on the map here. Very, very large indeed. And that now means we border these guys. So the question is, Question is, do we pull our envoy from here? Actually, what we probably ought to do um, is pair sleeper cells. That is going to be with what trait here? That is subterfuge. Okay, so we want to use four subterfuge plus four subterfuge. Okay. All right, we are going to set up a, sleep, a sleeper cell uh, in this empire so I can move our envoy probably on to the keepers of Ave Bren just to get a better idea of what's going on up there. We finally have somewhat of an idea of what the Ood Kavango kingdom kind of looks like. Uh, they are at war, which is kind of unfortunate with the Hespilar Star Church. But let's establish an embassy with those guys, just just to get some better relations going with some people, so everybody doesn't absolutely hate us. And there was some comments in the last episode saying, hey, we should try to help with the Horde, and 
I see what you're saying. They're absolutely wrecking our brethren, uh, though misguided brethren, uh, those democratic people on the United Nation of Earth. Earth is still our home world, but I mean, there's not much we can do to get over there. Closed borders. Eh. I wish we could, but unfortunately we cannot. Okay, now, you... That is in progress. Very good. Very, very, very good. Now, over here, I need to recruit an asset. So let's, let's get into our credits a little bit here. Uh, and let's acquire an asset. I'd like to get some other things going with them if we're going to declare war. Uh, I know that we are forced peace until 2293. So we've got a little bit to set up. Um set up what we're going to do, get some stuff going espionage-wise, uh, and then kind of go from there. Hello. Dirty Xenos. Ah, uh, resolution passed. Okay, yep, we were opposed to that, but it's going to be okay. Ooh, hello. Tropical world. I would like to colonize you, yes. Ports from... Operation, they can, they need a, you need to be able to name these. Uh, reports from Operation, Pre and maybe you can. Operation Prepare Sleeper Cells are favorable so far. There are many false quantitations of fealty, not to mention a plethora of faked background checks. Our operatives have settled into a bureaucratic positions within the governing structure of the ruling party. From there, they will be able to update us on the latest happenings in the Gambia state uh, and maintain our long-term ability to conduct operations there should we wish. So, excellent. Uh, sleeper cell modifier for 180 months, plus one operation skill. Spy network K minus 100%. Is that for 180 months? No, that's just the modifier. Okay. Or, modifier added for 360 months. Spy network K minus 100%. Destroy clerk espionage assets. Destroy clerk espionage assets. I don't think we want to do that. We'll set that up. That's fine. And we need to turn our attention over to here. So let's pull you construction complete from the Ganvia state and get you setting up a network over here. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Okay. Now, technology wise, we're doing our robot modifications that should be done here sometime soon. One month. Yep. Sweet. That should help us a little bit on upkeep. Special project complete. Um, especially on credits, because that's kind of what they run off of. So that should help there. Our economy is getting a little bit better. I'd like to get more alloys going. Um, relatively, relatively soon. All right, you go repair. Seven out of nine stations. One here. Probably ought to upgrade you. Just to make sure. Hopefully, we've harmed them enough that we'll be able to come back at some point and take the rest of this territory. I do think this is a playthrough where we're going to try to either vassalize people. We're going to try to take territory, I think. I, I usually go the route of uh, vassalizing um, enemies purely because I don't want to deal with that many planets. But I think in this case, we're going to try the districting system, uh, the automation stuff for that. And I mean, with a Commonwealth of Man, we don't like Xenos. Why would we vassalize them? All right. Our spy master in the Ud Kabongo system, BZ, reports a drastic failure. Oh, in our process for screening operatives. Uh, word from the Ud Kabongo capital is that a fixer has chosen to defect. It seems that the fixer has grown more sympathetic towards the culture and foundation ethics of the Ud Kabongo High Kingdom in opposition to our own. Our screening process has failed in that it is supposed to rule out such flakiness. Yeah, let's just disavow. Although, you know what? So if we did this one, 50% chance that the Utkamago High Kingdom have a spy network on us. They will be warned of a plot against them. They may identify us if their code breaking is superior to our encryption. Which I don't think it is. Friends. Hmm. 
Let's just disavow. That's fine. Yep, we'll just disavow. And we can do this again. We can turn another planet into a Gaia world. Do we want to do our capital? Science division. No, 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 no. We don't want to do our capital. We want to continue to do planets like these. Construction. Yeah, we want to continue to do that. Okay, so let's activate you. We're going to go ahead and do planet we just picked up, I think. Um, more slaves. That's fine. Uh, Alvathori warriors sighted. For several months now, we have received scattered reports of small numbers of alien mercenaries and privateers operating on the frontier of our space. They are calling themselves the Alvathari, and apparently exiles from a nomadic warrior culture, uh, inhabiting overcrowded space stations in and around the Blorg Bane system. Their passage in our space proceeded without incident, but they warned us against trespassing in Blorg's Bane. There is no Alvathori central government to speak of. Interesting. What is that? The Alvathori Freebooters. Uh, that's funny. Alright, so Blorg's Bane. Um. That's fine. So yeah, we've got ourselves a. Gaia world over here. So that's nice. A uh, lot of, lot of blockers to clear, which I think will be okay. You are up to 10 pops. Yeah, and this should grow significantly over here. And did we actually have humans immigrate? No, but we've got one growing apparently. Um. All jobs are full, so we will need a new one here momentarily. Let's get... What do we need? We're sitting pretty good on most things. Let's turn this into... An alloy producer for us. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll build the foundries first, and then we'll go and we'll build the industrial districts. We also just finished terraforming. Good, good stuff. That means we can get to doing the other planets... And we can get a whole ball. Ooh, it's going to be great. Man, we're going to get so many colonized worlds out of this. Uh, all right. Ship upgrade cost minus 20 upkeep. Yeah, let's do the let's do the upgrade cost. All right. Grounded. The inability of some local spiritual leaders on Herbarium to even begin to calm the rampant unrest of the colony has led to the populace taking a more rational view of the material realm that they inhabit. We'll be good. We, we've got our army over here. We'll We'll be perfectly fine. All right, cruisers are done. Yeah, let's get those antimatter missiles. Uh, and let's go into our ship designer. So, we want to go artillery. Yes, 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 we do. Uh, throw some afterburners on there. Got our better combat computers. That's good. What I wanted to do, balance this out just a little bit. So let's go with a UV laser there. Um, yeah, I think it'll be good to bust down shields with the railgun. We can also go with a carrier. I want a new design here. I want a point defense. So this is going to be a point defense class. Throw all that in there. Let's throw a railgun just to balance the damage a bit. And you are going to be set to, yes, pick it. That's going to be good. Uh, what do we got you set to? Swarm, that's right. Regular destroyers are set to the artillery, set at 80. I think we want to go to line with this. Yep, let's go to line, uh, and then cruisers, you are also line. I think that's okay. Because, yeah, your, your main weapon will reach 80. 
These are all going to be 75. So yeah, we'll we'll leave you on the line as well. Okay, sweet. All right, that means our fleet is going to need an upgrade. So you need to go and do that. We also need to get some cruisers thrown into this fleet. So let's get a cruiser and let's get some point defense destroyers in there as well. Construction complete. Oh, there's the cruisers. Oh, yeah, I was I, I was clicking on cruisers. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we'll do this here in a second. We'll get four point defense to cruisers. Uh, or, uh, can't talk this morning. Four point defense destroyers. Uh, and then we'll go with three, three cruisers. If I wanted to reinforce that. Do I have got the cash? I do. Let's do it. Uh, United Nation of Earth submits. Oh, no. The United Nation of Earth has submitted to the Great Khan. They have been made a satrapy of the Ajuran Horde, and their fleets are now standing down. Oh no. I wish I could have done something, guys. I really do. Although you've closed your borders to me, so screw you, man. Alright. Public Works Division. We get another Ascension perk. Now. We don't want to do this yet, so we'll hold off on that. What I think we do want to go into, kind of want to go into Voidborn. So Galactic Force Projection seems very, very much what we kind of want to do. We're not going to go into Synthetic Evolution, Flesh is Weak, anything along those lines. Might go Galactic Wonders at some point. And definitely not Xeno compatibility. <laughs> oh man. This would be better if we already had habitats going. We researched it, right? Hold on, hold on. Or we choose that. Alright, wormhole travel's done. Let's let's cycle the cheap tech here. Did we Where's the construction ship? Okay, we did. Okay, we got habitat. I knew we had talked about doing it, and I thought maybe we had swapped off of it. So, we need to get some of those guys going, to be perfectly honest. What I need you to do is come down here. We need to get habitats going. Um... Hold on. All right, we're going to have you go do that. Now, does that take down the station? All right, yeah, let's get you over here. We'll start you there. We'll get a habitat going. I do think we need to go Voidborn. Your destiny, although, although, I'm tempted for shared destiny just for the additional envoys. Forget the integration influence cost and the subject trust cap. Although we could, <laughs> we could play it. We vassalize, we integrate, and then we purge. I'm not opposed to that at all. Needed capacity would be nice. Hero prerogative. Eh. That plus 20% is going to be good, though, if we're going to be conquering literally everything. Oh, I think we want to go Voidborn. I think we do. Well, we are going to terraform other celestial bodies for colonization. I mean, I still think the more pops you can get going, the better. Like, let me know in the comments if, if that's not the way to do this, but... Yeah, we can do other things to get our naval cap up, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, let's go Voidborn, and let's kind of go heavy into getting a bunch of... 
bunch of habitats set up. Alright, you are that Oh, we don't have the alloys. Well, mark it. Let's buy a bunch. I know that's going to put us all the way down there, but we're at plus 98. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. That is you. Yes. All right. Sweet. Well, actually, now that I mention that, I do remember pick up the resources. You don't pick up the resources, but it's going to be better if... Um, God. Stop. Belay order. Habitat, let's do this over. Over you. Over here, let's cancel what you were going to do. Let's actually build that. Yeah, let's let's build that right there. That's gonna be fine. Okay, so we'll get a couple of those going. Uh, reinforcements are on the way. You should be upgraded. Our pioneers have made planet fall. I believe so. Um, we do need to get your trade station. Let's upgrade you. Get an off-world trading company as well. But we're gonna start getting some bastions going. Because we, we need to start building up that naval cap. So we'll get that upgrading, which will pick up that trade in addition to us being able to build out that bastion. Uh, you build research. Now, spending all that cash to get some habitats going um, is going to take away our ability for now to terraform. We don't have the 5,000 in cash, which is unfortunate, but it, it's going to be okay. All right. Fleet has been upgraded, which is great. How is the espionage over here going? It is building. Let's run an op. Let's gather some info. And those are going to take a hot second to do. Um, a drain on resources. Spymaster Alejandra Ortiz recently launched a quiet investigation into her own operatives in the Keeper of Ave Bren after noticing a recent drop in their performance. Uh, she discovered operatives skimming from resources. Oh. Yeah. Damn. You know what? Let's try reprimands and see what happens. I don't think anything good could be come out of that. But I don't want to drop my infiltration level. So you know what? No, no, no. We'll drop the infiltration level. Yep, we can't. Nope. Not at all. Nope. 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 Whole, whole lot of nope. Planets are looking good. We're about to start to get humans over here, which is great. Um, We threw the alloy foundry in here. Let's... Build one of you out next. Because we will need that job as soon as... Yeah, as soon as the population grows, we will need that job. So let's get that going. We're going to turn this into an industrial hub. Um, let's, let's remind ourselves of that. Oops. Uh, industrial. Get that going. Uh, let's get another construction ship built. Construction complete. Let's actually get a couple of them going. Uh, the Ethel Multitude has stood down. Yep, they're spineless. I mean, I'm not saying we could have handled them, but... Yeah, no, we probably couldn't have handled them. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. All right. Better missiles, so we can upgrade our fleets once again. Auto cannons, better thrusters, civilian fabricators, or habitat expansion. That'll take 68 months. We're not quite ready for that yet. We'll need, excuse me, we'll need actual habitats on the line before we decide that that is going to be worth it. So, 
Let's take the cheap tech and let's get that. We finished improved reactors here. We could get better encryption. Colony development speed. Yes, let's do that real quick. See if we can't speed up this guy. Uh, and if we're going to be terraforming, then also that, you know, that'll help speed that up as well. Uh, these acts will not go unpunished. Okay, I'm really tempted to move these guys out. Let's do this. Let's get a robot assembly plant going. Now, I'm actually going to resettle. Um, let's say to... Who's got jobs? Anybody got jobs? I'll send you to Illuminated Reef. I'm, I'm tired of dealing with it on one of our core worlds. Yep. Uh, yep, I'm tired of dealing with it here. We're gonna have a bunch of jobs to fill. That's, that's gonna have to be okay. Us getting robot assembly plants going will help that. And, yeah, I just... I don't want it... I don't want it in the core anymore. Just don't. Alright, you... <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. We're gonna throw a hollow theater down there. Should offset those negative amenities. Okay. Open borders with the sealed door state. Fine. And ship upgrade cost minus 20, ship upkeep minus 5. Administrator can put 10, base level intel plus 10. Ooh. Eh, let's grab the habitability. Oh, hey, they pieced out. Okay. Okay, they didn't take as much as I thought they were going to. They did leave a big chunk. So yeah, I think these guys might be our next target. Hopefully they, and they just claim the system. Hopefully they remain weak when the time comes. Although migration treaty broken, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so those are different fleets in here. All right, we'll, we'll wait till that dies down uh, to take a look and see what they got. In the meantime, Make sure you're fully upgraded, which you're not. Um, we'll go. No missile. Let's go gun and another hangar, and then also disruption field on you. That's entry point number one that they could come through. Here's entry point number two. Uh, also need to upgrade you. Well, well, build more modules, not necessarily upgrade you. Go gun and hangar. And then also disruption. Oh wait, did you join a? Oh crap! You did that just say you joined a federation? Joined the? Ah, oh, they did. Okay, so if we attack these guys, we're gonna pull in. Uh, who else is in that? Security confederate. Oh man. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. So if we attack them, that's going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, that's going to be all right. Let's upgrade. Better missiles on our... I assume... Okay, it did. Lovely. We need to get better armor when it comes up. So that made that a little bit more complicated. Uh, Ave Bren, how are we doing espionage-wise? Let's try gathering intel again. Well, you know what? Ships refitted. Maybe that's failed because we didn't have higher infiltration would be my guess, but I think it'd be fine. All right, calling development speed plus 50%. Let's grab. Boat harvesting traps. Yes. All right, Finders Keepers, a particularly observant operative in the Commonwealth of Man, has laid their hands on part of a human encryption key. It would seem careless human administrator uh -huh, mislaid the device whilst commuting. This bodes well enough for our operations in the Commonwealth of Man, but...
This bodes well enough for our operations in the Commonwealth of Man, but our study of the device's unique design has revealed novel insights for our general approach to code I don't think that that should have triggered for us. Or, if it did, it shouldn't have been Commonwealth of Man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll take the 24 months plus one code breaking. But I don't think that that should have triggered for us. <laughs> Alright, well, I do think we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Let me know. I know I asked last episode, um... Is it the Keepers of Ave Bren? Are they our next target? Or do we wait out the White Piece uh, and potentially hit the Gamvi Estate again? Or say, forget it, Federation, I'm coming after you. Let me know that down in the comments. And we'll take a look at this in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.